A Look at Seniors is underwritten with the generous support of the Wesley community. Greater health, greater life, greater Saratoga. <laughs> welcome back, everyone, and welcome to A Look at Seniors. Uh, this interview will be the first installment over eight weeks where we're going to dedicate each week to addressing topics that affect uh, seniors and their loved ones and their children. And we're going to cover a lot of different topics. The topic that goes right to the top of the list for the last three years is Alzheimer's. It's a scary word. It's frightening for the people that face it themselves. And of course, it's frightening for their loved ones and their caregivers, their families, and their friends. And joining me today is an expert. Shannon Lawler. She's Director of Programs for Alzheimer's Association of Northeast New York. Welcome. Thank you for Very having nice me. Very nice to have you here. Mm -hmm. uh, every year we, we talk about this subject in this series, and every year we hear back that this is the topic that most people want to know more about. Mm -hmm. um, a lot for us to cover. I just want to start with that, just one fact, that about 5 million people mm -hmm. are currently afflicted with Alzheimer's. They th believe that on its current path, that as many as 16 million people might be affected with this disease by 2050. So that's some serious statistics. Definitely. Let's, uh, let's just mm -hmm. delve into it, cover some of the basics mm -hmm. first, okay? Mm -hmm. And of those 15 million yes. people, or 5 million currently, there's over 15 million people caring for them at this time, too. Oh, sure, so yeah. Those unpaid caregivers that are helping care and provide that support to them through this disease process. Right, so right, yeah, I, think I don't, I don't doubt that at all. Um, no cure for Alzheimer's yet? There's not, unfortunately. There's not a cure, anything to treat or prevent. So we're dealing with first mm -hmm. recognizing the symptoms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, understanding our options, mm -hmm. and then take action to Definitely. really mitigate all of the fear and all of the surrounding exactly. issues that you run into every single day when people mm -hmm. call looking for support. Um, let's just go to the basics here. When you talk about the symptoms, mm -hmm. you think of memory loss right away, but that's not the only one, right? Mm -mm. No. What else? <clears throat> it impairs your ability to think, mm -hmm. to reason, to mm -hmm. problem solve. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it affects um, people's behavior. Um, yes, you right. see changes in their behavior and mood, um, mm -hmm. and those kinds of those things. Those types of things that are sure. Happening. You know, you would think that uh, you know, you walk in a room. How many of us do this? You walk in a room and you go, "Why am I in here?" Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Shannon was telling me it isn't so much that it's not knowing why you got there or where you're going next. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, when you start to see those kinds of things creep in, mm -hmm. then you realize, or if your loved one, a caregiver sees that, mm -hmm. you know, your significant other starts to see that. And um, it impairs your daily life Your too, daily life, so, yes, that's right. that thing. Um, age, obviously, one of the major contributing factors, Respect. but there are others mm -hmm. also, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cardiovascular, you were issues, saying? Issues, yes, hypertension, right. uh, hypertension, yes. high cholesterol, um, high right. blood sugar, all of, are risk factors for risk, developing yes, sure. this disease. Now, so. the, when you talk about <clears throat> the risk factors, you know, you always hear about diet, you hear about exercise, uh, you hear about brain mm -hmm. training, mm -hmm. right? These are all very valuable tools in staying healthy. Promoting, mm -hmm, definitely. Um, you know, in doing, you know, the mo more physical exercise that you do, the better. Yeah, yes. Cognitive stimulating mm -hmm. at the same time. Exercising, walking and talking with a friend. Those are yes. really important things to do that can help promote brain health. Um, well, you, you the know, diet you, as well. Oh, you sure. Uh, you know, you talk about uh, brain health. Uh, the brain is a muscle. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. exercise it. Uh, I've often heard, you know, learn to speak a language. Learn to play a musical instrument. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, uh, you, you get the idea. It's these kinds of things. All right. Uh, let's, let's say the most, you're identifying the fact that you're in trouble or your loved one is in trouble. Uh, what are kind of the first steps you take? Do you go see the doctor? Yes, it's okay. very important. Um, if you have any concerns, you've seen these 
changes, um, talk to your doctor. You know, when uh, the doctor. What do they do? The they doctors? do full comprehensive workups. They're oh, looking God. at. Um, there's a series of cognitive screenings that they do. It mm -hmm. includes blood tests, um, a, a doctor's physical assessment, as mm -hmm. well as um, a screening, a MRI or CAT scan. So, so uh, education always mm -hmm. being at the centerpiece of making any mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of constructive decision mm -hmm. it's about what to do next. Mm -hmm. um, assuming that that turns out to be Positive in the sense that that you're uh, you know showing symptoms of the disease. Uh, what are some of the steps you should take next? Encourage to get educated to yeah, right, understand right. Um, about the disease and what to expect in the future as the mm -hmm. disease progresses. Mm -hmm. um, being able to talk about it, talking about it with your family and your support system and the people around you. Mm -hmm. So they have a chance to also um, get educated and better understand what to expect. So. Well, I would imagine that uh, taking that into consideration, planning ahead would be important. And I don't mean just planning ahead for the next month, planning ahead five years. It, you right? know, it's important in the earlier stages of the disease, people have the ability to make their decisions. own decisions, oh, yeah, right, and right. it's important for them to have those conversations with their family and um, the providers that they're working with so they know what to expect mm -hmm. or know what they would want um, mm -hmm. in the future, and it's really empowering to be able to um, Well, you know what? I think empowering sense. is such an important word. Mm -hmm. Outside of the disease being so debilitating, fear is mm -hmm. and, and the unknown. Mm -hmm. So, you know, start to address it. Uh, contact the Alzheimer's Association. You've seen the phone number at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it's wonderful. They'll give you education and they'll give you support. Now, you also are in the community as well. So people go to the website. Mm -hmm. They can attend seminars and mm -hmm. become educated mm -hmm. and seek you know, call up, get, uh, uh, you know, answers to questions, exactly. right? Yep. They can sit down with um, a one-to-one, -one, come in, talk to a licensed um, staff and discuss, uh, excuse me, a dementia care specialist who right. can um, hear what's happening in their situation. Right. We provide that disease education, that emotional support, and refer them to resources that are available. Mm -hmm. We have um, a 24-hour helpline that people can call 24 hours a day, seven Great. days a week, and speak to um, a, a, just somebody to get basic information or have that more in-depth care consultation sure. if, if they need that as well. So. Sure. You know what? Uh, taking confusion out of this uh, for the family and for everyone, uh, uh, even someone who might be feeling the symptoms themselves, that, that's the most important step you mm -hmm. can take, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, research is encouraging, by the mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a cure for it yet, but boy, they're working on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the hope is in our lifetime that they actually will find exactly. a cure for it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Shannon, thank you very much. Thank you. For thank coming you so much in. for having us and giving us an opportunity to help raise awareness on this disease. So. Yeah, sure. Well, like I said, it afflicts a lot of mm -hmm. people and scares mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. people. Definitely. Okay. Well, to see this interview again, you can head to our website, which is looktvonline.com. The Wesley Community in Saratoga Springs, your choice for senior living. Experience the comforts of home at Woodlawn Commons and open a world of new possibilities. Enjoy meals in our restaurant, landscape gardens, and a full social calendar. Enriched offerings from medication assistance to help with daily living are available all in the same location. At Woodlawn, you'll have the confidence to live independently.